I remember 10, 12, 13 years ago, we were talking about with Nick Boris and the officers, Jim and John, you know, who, who should come on to the National Council? And one of the first names that came to the discussion was James D. Spiros. I remember first meeting Jim at an Archdiocesan Council meeting way back way when back. Uh, in New York when Archbishop Spiridon was our spiritual father. And uh, he, he showed great uh, uh, cor courage in his discussions, standing up, saying what he felt was right and appropriate. And I thought to myself, he's a leader. He's a leader. A motion was made at the council by Nick Boris to bring Jim to the National Council, and it was one of the best decisions we ever made. Uh, when John came up with the uh, thought of an Archon Lenten retreat, a, a, a brilliant <coughs> suggestion, I knew of your commitment to the Holy Trinity in Westfield, of your Byzantine choir experience, teaching Sunday school for 15 or 17 <coughs> years, being on the parish council. This is the type of person that we wanted. And knowing your God, Father was on the National Council, or no, Kubara uh, rather. My father too is Kubara. That's it, you're Kubara. Uh, this added further evidence and testimony to justifying his presence on the National Council. So what did Jim do when he, when he was given the assignment of Spirituality Committee Chairman? He organized the first of seven Lenten retreats that were all very successful. He publicized them. He developed a whole kit that <coughs> Peter Skiatis thanks you for every time he's thinking about the next uh, Lenten retreat. And he, he developed the template and the protocol that we're following to this day. And this very day, the annual Archon Lenten retreat is one of the highlights of, the Ar of being an Archon. And we have Jim to thank, John to thank for the idea, but Jim to ex who executed it with brilliance and uh, excellence. In grateful acknowledgement to James D. Spiros, Archon Castrinzios, for your exemplary, exemplary National Council service. God grant you many years, good health, abundant blessings, and continued commitment to our Orthodox faith through the Ecumenical Patriarchate and its apostolates. Oxios, Oxios, Oxios. Oxios. September 8, 2011, New York, New York. His Eminence could not be here, but he escorted uh, Archon Jim to the conference room and congratulated him. Father Alice could not be here. I know he spoke with you, but congratulations and Axios. Axios. Thank you so much. Thank you. The score, I mean, this means so much to me. There's a saying that, you know, service is the rent we pay for the, for the space we occupy while we are here. Service is the rent we pay for the space we occupy while we are here. And what I do, I, I, I always do out of love for the church. Uh, you know, I've always, it's always been in my heart. Uh, I've tried to give back. Sometimes, uh, you know, when you're a young man, you don't understand our faith as much as perhaps you should. Um, and one of the best things that happened to me personally and my family was finding Holy Trinity, uh, where we met people like Jim Foundas, who became the godfather to my children, and Ted Dimitriou, Ted Bosnellis, and so many other archons, and Nick Boris, of course, who, you know, who nominated me for this, this wonderful uh, honor and distinction to be an archon. Leadership is the art of achieving results through people. That's my definition of leadership. It's, uh, it's being passionate, it's being strong, having a vision, and never giving up. And I think that's the strength of our, of our national commander here. He never gives up. He never, never takes no for an answer. He always believes that we can be better, we can do more. 
So uh, I thank you all for this wonderful recognition and the honor of the dinner this evening, and uh, I love you all.